Hello, this is Troy, Kilo Foxtrot 7, Sierra Echo Yankee. Today I'm going to show you my uh, power supply for my Raspberry Pi. Now, I wanted to uh, have a way to power my Raspberry Pi without any issues. I uh, currently been using one of those cell phone chargers and it's got the cord and you got to plug it in and I just wasn't something I wanted to do for any quick activation or need to use the Raspberry Pi out in the portable. So what I found was this little device that the Raspberry Pi sits on. It runs with two 18650 batteries and what's neat about this is you can it the Raspberry Pi bolts to the top of it and these little pins right here uh, touch the bottom of the pins for the power rail on the Raspberry Pi. It has its own power button that you can use to turn it on and then also turn it off. It doesn't turn the Raspberry Pi off uh, powering down the Pi for you so you have to do that first in the software but once you've done that you can turn off the the uh, power supply itself. It has LEDs for uh, power to let you know how much battery life you have left and it's actually you know relatively small. It also has outputs so you can charge your cell phones off of uh, from the battery pack as, as, as well. Um, one thing I didn't like about it is uh, the you know the Raspberry Pi 4 has the the C USB cord, USB cord and this one has the mini USB cord so to charge or power the Pi. You can plug this in here and it will charge your batteries and run the Pi off of it. Another feature is it has a uh, real-time clock on it and allows you to you know keep your time when you're not using your GPS or hooked to the internet uh, which is was a little extra feature that was nice to have. wasn't something that I was looking for, but it's nice to have. I will leave a link in the description below on uh, where to get the information for the the unit. Um, there's another feature that it also has is uh, you can check the amp amperage draw of it, and uh, it doesn't. The one downfall with it, it doesn't have a battery. Reading. You can't read the battery, it just reads the output voltage from the regulator. Not sure why they did it that way, but that's how it's being used. So on the Pi, you can run this Python script, which I got from the website, and I'll put the link in the description below. When you run this Python script, it will read the current, the amperage, and the voltage. The voltage is coming from the regulator. You can see I'm drawing 817 milliamps at the moment and the output from the regulator is 5.152. I ran the script from KM4ACK to see how long my battery life would last and I got five and a half hours just running the Pi with uh, Whisper running and I'm running Currently I have uh, 3,000 milliamp batteries that I purchased off of eBay and you know I don't know if those are accurately, if I can get that out of it, but like I said I get about five and a half hours out of it. So that's one, one uh, idea I have and I, I really like the way that works. Another one I came up with to use in case uh, uh, I didn't want to use that or I have other pies and that's uh, one of these little um, 12 volt to uh, 5 volt uh, down converters and what I liked about this one is this one's good for 5 amps so it will power the Raspberry Pi 4 without any problems uh, it will also you know I could power the Pi and charge the cell phone at the same time if I wanted to and so what I did was I 3D printed a case for it move this out of the way here. I 3D printed a case for it and uh, made it so I can use some power pole connectors in there and this just goes clicks in there like that and so I can plug in a uh, battery 
into that end and then plug in a cord to charge a cell phone or power up a Raspberry Pi. Both of them work really well. I'm happy with the results on both of them. I'll put a link in the description below for uh, where I got this. I got this on eBay. Um, Amazon has them too. They seem to work really well. I haven't had any problems with noise or anything like that um, on my radios while I'm using it. So the next thing for me to do is I'm going to try to figure out uh, a case for this. I'm actually thinking about getting one of those touch screens to put on right here. and Mostly just for quick activations that I want to do something really quick and I don't want to uh, have multiple devices. If I have the touch screen here I can do you know, WinLink or something along those lines. So I actually have one coming and uh, I can do a video on that showing you how that works and I'll also do a, a battery test on how much how much life I lose by using the screen with these uh, these batteries so that's it so uh, thanks for watching and I'll say 73 till next time